So today, we're going to take a look at our Earthway Garden Seeder. Uh, I picked this up in the fall there, so uh, I'll leave a link in uh, in the description there as to uh, maybe a couple places to purchase it. I got it from Amazon. I believe it was like $191. Uh, price could have gone up by now, I'm not sure. Uh, I would shop around and because uh, there's many different uh, distributors that uh, can uh, get you this seeder. I also went for the uh, the additional seed discs, uh, the other than the ones that come with it, and I figured since today's a just another snowy day on the farm. What better time to uh, start putting some tools together? All right. Well, first things first. Let's uh, get the box open and uh, see what we got here. We'll lay it all out on the bench and uh, go from there. Set the dust aside. Trusty pocket knife. Oh, the staples. Okay, here we have everything that uh, comes in the box. So we got the uh, the main base here for the uh, Earthway Cedar, the uh, five standard plates that come with it, and then I ordered the additional five plates. Nuts and bolts in different packages, the uh, rear wheel, the uh, row marker and the handle, and the ever important instructions. Okay, well in the meantime, let's get everything uh, packed up here so we can get started putting it together. Take a quick peek at the instructions just to uh, make sure we don't get lost before we start. Pretty straightforward. Famous last words. base here. Oh, looks like there's a uh, seed plate in here already as well for tomatoes. Pop that out so we don't damage it. Thing we'll do we'll take off this uh, rear axle and get the rear wheel in. It's a uh, 13 millimeter wrench or ratchet. I've got both. You need to hold it, tighten it up, obviously. So we'll take our rear wheel, slide the sleeve, axle sleeve in there, set it back in, line it up, feed it through. Okay. And we can tighten it on the other side, obviously. Next we can do our handle. The handle here is just gonna go to the outside here like so. That'll be these four bolts. Gonna go. Here you go. And I'll grab some uh, wrenches to do this. All right, so these are 11 mil bolts. All 
right, now we'll put together our row marker. It goes on the end. There's an end with a hole and without the hole. It goes on the end without the hole. Now this can be set up and down on here as well. Put through your uh, carriage bolt, which goes in obviously on the square side. Feed it in, and it comes with a wing nut for the other side. Easy loosening and tightening. Tighten that. Doesn't come off. Okay, and then to attach this, we have this uh, plastic pin with an R clip. It goes right below the uh, the hopper for the seeds. There is a single hole there, so you set it in. Put that through. Put it through again. And we'll pop in our R clip. Okay, we're good. So now this can go on this side, swing over, and mark the other side as well. So next we can, uh, this is for to hold our row marker. So you can see there's two holes up here on the uh, handle. That's where this goes. Okay, that fits in there like so. For me, that was really all the assembly that there was to this. Uh, a lot of it was already assembled. Uh, the kickstand was already on. The front wheel and the uh, drive belt were already installed. So was the hopper. Now, by pictures, it shows there should be a guard on here. This did not come with a guard. Um, I'm not sure. Your furrow maker is there, as with the chain. That was all already installed. So there was very minimal installation to do to this uh, particular cedar. Um, we can take our plates. It shows you right on here. It says on and off, which way to spin it. Obviously the blank side is going to go in, and the side that with all the writing is going to face out towards the hopper. Set it in there. Give it a turn. Until it hits the little bump stops and you know it's on there tight uh, you want it to be nice and tight so that no seeds slip in behind the seed plate because that would be a disaster as well you may need to hold the front wheel uh, in order to uh, give it that extra oomph to get it there just until it's all worn in so there we go that's uh, just a quick tutorial on how to put uh, the earthway together uh, it's a pretty straightforward little design uh, it's obviously a little cheaper uh, for the home gardener or anything it would be excellent as well as some small-scale uh, market farming as well uh, obviously we're going to give it a whirl here on our market farm uh, we've also purchased a jang as well um, there'll be another video uh, on how to assemble that uh, as with uh, anything anything we get we will show you the unboxing we're going to show you how to put it together and then once the weather warms up we can get out into the field and show you how it's going to get used so in the meantime, leave a comment down below, let us know what you think, and uh, click the like, subscribe if you can, and uh, get ready to see all sorts of new, new videos coming up, and uh, follow us along our, with our journey on our family market farm. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.